This video tutorial shows how to perform the compressed air connections on PowerTech 300-400 Electro Spindle. The compressed air system of the machine must include a filter system to purify the air. These spindle have a double action lock release cylinder. Therefore, the first fitting is for the tool release. The second for the tool lock and the pressurization, and finally the third for the taper cleaning, a monistable 5-way 2-position solenoid valve, must be used to operate the lock and release cylinder. The outlets of the solenoid valve that drive the lock and release cylinder, must be independent and not shared. Use silencers with a flow rate bigger than or equal to 1401 per minute. Avoid using silencers in centered bronze. Insert a quick discharge valve on the valve release line, to increase the upstroke speed of the piston during the lock phase. Connect the pipes to the three fittings. And check that pneumatic pipes are not crushed or blocked, to operate the lock and release cylinder. Connect the pneumatic pipes to the solenoid valve, adjust the pressure to 6 bar. Operating the release with the solenoid valve the clamp comes out. Whilst when operating the lock it returns back. And the piston retracts to the return position. Once the piston stroke is completed, the pressurization is started. The pressurization is a continuous air jet, that seals the mechanical seals between the front ring nut, and the nose of the electro spindle. That must always be active when the machine is on. The taper cleaning must be activated during the tool change phase, to clean the tool holder taper and the conical seating of the spindle. A three-way two-position monistable solenoid valve, must be used to manage it. The operation pressure must be always be 6 bar. The taper cleaning must be activated, only after the tool holder taper has been released. Wait for the S2 sensor clamp open to switch on. The taper cleaning can be disabled when the taper is at a distance of about 20 mm from the electro spindle, if you have a liquid cooled electro spindle. Use a heat exchanger or chiller unit. Connect the inlet and outlet pipes to the two fittings. Heatico can, on request, supply the heat exchanger and the cooling liquid. Always read the instructions manual in the CD provided for further information.